hello friends my name is renuka welcome back to my channel and today i'm doing kind of technique video and this is the part of the series one k1010 and more cards and i'm using one big sentiment stamp and creating six uh, background for that stamp and using some kind of tricks and um simple techniques to make um the same you can get the same stamp and out of it you can get a uh, more different ways uh, I did this technique with the Samus's uh, last year fall kit where I created the plaited background and uh, some kind of different backgrounds too. So here I am suggesting some new things. So these are the cards I made with it and uh, this is the scrapping for less flavor of the month kit and uh, this neat and tangled uh, big sentiment is the part of that but you, if you don't have you can use anything uh, you have in your stash everyone has the big stamp so now i'm using here bristol smooth white colored card stock and nowadays it's kind of go to for everything and i'm using here painter's tape and some kind of washi tape just to stick my card stock um because i cut out these already and it is not much bigger than the a2 size front base of the card so here I'm using this pearless watercolor and I bought this from Amazon and these are quite a vibrant one and you can see I use them lots of uh, things. I use them in Christmas cards too. So these are very cheap. I bought them for like 3 or $4. I'll link everything below so you can go ahead but you can have a nicer one with uh, another companies and brands um i just stick to it now i'm just putting some kind of ovals and circular shapes there uh, these are not perfect although at this time i don't have anything in my mind but i'm using here weight on weight technique and i'm putting some different color there so mostly i'm using the sea green green and shades of blues here and uh, now you can see that it looks like a marble so this is the one way you can put this uh, back background as it is and put one volume sheet on it and you can stamp the image but we're gonna do the different technique here now this is the another technique i'm just uh, using the same colors using my little bit flatter brush um to just add the stripes uh, nothing is perfect i'm just adding the things you don't have to be much perfect just uh, eyeball the everything and just put um color there these colors are quite a shiny one so when you work with them they're a little bit transparent kind of translucent effect you're gonna get so you can mix them with the traditional watercolor so if you don't like that pure transparent sheer thing or you can add the distress ink to them uh, everything gonna work really nice and here i'm just uh, putting a little bit color and i'll put that aside i really love to uh, dry most of my card bases or watercolor techniques um I, I love to do air drying the things but if you are in hurry you can use the heat gun uh, most of the times i do all my uh, water coloring at the one time and then i made out card um another day so this is the same way i'm showing you video i'm not cutting and editing that thing that each card how i did i just making all the six backgrounds or whatever i'm using the watercolors and then i'll put them aside and then next day i'll come and do the whole things now here's the thing i have some traditional watercolors too so i'm uh, just putting lots of water on that paper and uh, just adding little bit of color now in the watercolor technique there is no right or wrong thing just make sure that your color didn't get muddy because sometimes now you can see when i kind of um put the yellow and greens together if sky blue it kind of giving me green color so i just stop there and see that where my color is going and if you see that anything is kind of seepage or anything kind of mixing you can just dab it by using a paper towel that is another technique um and then i'm just putting more color like the orange and then i thought let's a little bit white also uh, there is uh, kind of nothing um, special here i'm kind of creating a sunset but i don't want to be like very perfect one i just want and give an idea about that if you don't have this shimmery color what you can do you can just go ahead and do everything uh, with your watercolor and spritz it if the background is like um, flat one like the stripe or the oval one and if you are creating a scene or something like that now i'm creating then you can um, add the pearless water when you are mixing your colors 
or you can spread it first and then color on it so there are different kind of uh, ways to get that pearlized effect i'm directly using those colors and then i'm just filling here all the gaps um and then i'm adding the sea green color to it uh, i will not bother if some kind of sea green mix with those um balls or marble kind of things i just want um, to mix them so um i just want one another geometric pattern to do that now after drying all of those i just cut out them the salmon says stretch big red tangle that and now i'll do all the stamping uh with the stamp so here is one technique you have a simple um uh, big sentiment like this put a different colors there and just add now misty is quite a good thing to having that kind of stuff cause you can stamp it twice thrice uh, until you get a nice crisp image now as my stamp is lined up and everything is proper i'm just doing another thing i'm putting some voice of fine ink on it and i will put a white embossing powder i think i'm using uh ranger yeah hero arts i don't know but um here i sorry i didn't use the white i used the clear embossing powder with the rangers and then i'm kind of using my heat set to all the stuff there and then i'll again put that aside and working on the first thing so i'm just dark it out that it is a little bit off center i purposely do that because i'm kind of spreading that flower from the one side to another and um I hope that makes sense now i want to pop and add this panel so i just put um some distress inks and i decided to add um uh, shades of orange and red and yellows on the one card and another greens and blues on the uh, this oval marble card so i'm just adding more colors um now this ink's gonna mix really nicely with the your watercolor uh, colors or you have the pearless colors so this kind of giving a really nice room because these are a little bit transparent so everything gonna look really nice together and i'm just adding a little bit contrast here by adding warm lipstick i think and uh, actually whenever i'm uh, inking the things or doing the things i just see that how all gonna look uh, together and i just um just did, i have no idea in my mind that which color i'm choosing i just choose color if in a first way in a lighter way so if i don't like that i'll add more more color so dark color so yeah i hope that makes sense now i'm here making a a2 side fold card and it's um, just a card base which is uh, like off white in color or in pale color and then I'm putting some Nuvo drops there and somehow I, I really struggle with this. I don't know what happened with this bottle but it never come out um, really nicely. Then I'm just dabbing a little bit um, back of it so it will get flattened and I'll get nice enamel dots. Now this kit also came with the sequins and there are lots of nice sequins. I'm choosing here that brown um, matte kind of sequins. I thought it gonna really nice uh, with this metallic accent and then uh, this completes first card now the, for the second one uh, the main idea here first of all when i made this card is like i will put all the darkest color all around like the sketch blueprint or um jeans means kind of very dark color in a blue or navy blue color but then i decided to go again with the lighter and then also which color i want to add there so i'm adding the shades of uh, greens and blues here same i'm using for the background and now you can see that that little bit kind of popping the um, sentiment uh, there now here the it's kind of white you can do um first of all i thought it's a uh, transparent but it's white and uh, it's kind of thing that if you are doing transparent and then putting most of the dark colors then all the behind background whatever you stamp or whatever color first that gonna see through but this stamp is not that big so i can not do that technique but i'm planning to do that thing with the hero arts um, kit and stamps because these are big stamps bold solid stamps so stay tuned with me that projects are also coming i already made um, some cards with that but somehow i didn't get a time to added the things and put in on the video anyway so this stamp is came uh, the ship stamp is from the ohio um 
Lawn Fawns Ohio Parrot Stamp. You can use anything, um, but I'm kind of using that cheap. And uh, I'm using this uh, Simmons's Hilly Side Borders and cut out the small thin strips with that. It kind of acting like the wave, but I don't want here the wave die basically i just want something simple and nicer and same time i want it white because this um, ship is having kind of white border all around it when i drag it out it so now it's gonna fit really nicely there and yeah hope anchors the soul and uh, this kind of sheep there so everything gonna look nice together putting just a little bit of glossy accents there kind of bubbles or kind of adding more texture to it i don't want to add much uh, um kind of animal dots or something like that uh, to this card i just put uh, just like that now for the next one i just take it out the volume paper and i use the salmon stitch rectangle number three die for that it's gonna fit really nicely a uh, stamp on that and then i'm using hero arts pigment ink now here you see pigment ink are really hard to work with them because they are like uh, juicy and they they took a little bit longer time to dry and most of times i didn't use the heat gun but um, yeah go ahead and use that so this time i'm uh, stamping all the things first of all i stamp on a volume then i'm stamping on a Bristol smooth white uh, cardstock it is watercolor cardstock and then i will again do the coloring technique with the blues and greens here i'm using the i think momento inks so to stamp this i use the green and blue color there and then i'll keep aside and see um that uh, i'm just adding more colors on my palette here with the blues and greens and then i'm kind of making some swash here the, i decided to put that um kind of um, a stamp on it so if you like this technique you can do that the, um, you can add more color and um, just um, put everything uh, on it and just add a volume pa volume paper to put your stamp or it's kind of creating simple background techniques it's not uh, quite a happening thing it's quite around there but yeah i love to do that and then i will stamp uh, the image again so i just first of all distress that ink so it kind of giving that kind of shadows to there because i spritz the water and then i'm just using rag and the uh, heat gun so it kind of um mixing the things um on that background and then i'll stamp this crisp image on it so um it's kind of giving that little bit of shadow there because of I spritz the water there now i need to use the heat gun i just use that but somehow i still mess up with the black color ink now you can see that so this is the quite a simple card so i decided to use the white background for that now i'm choosing this uh lawn fawn hilly side borders i put all of them in a row and just go uh, in a one pass and i'll cut out all of them then i cut out the same stretch rectangle from uh, scrap of card base you can use any color uh, i just want that to stick all this stuff uh, together on that so it's gonna fit nicely and after that i just choose a mermaid lagoon and blueprint sketch i think yeah to add uh, more color and uh, i'm just going one color on the upper side uh, of the cutout and then i'll add more color on the downside of the cutout and i'll add more colors on the overall thing so here i'm just adding colors until i'm i'm happy with how they look so idea behind it is that uh, wavy thing kind of looking um kind of waves are there although it's a stitch rectangle die but it's look like the waves and same time i want to differentiate those waves because it's like dotted line there and uh, next thing is um I want to highlight those dots by adding more colors so here i'm using blueprint sketch and uh, then i'll stick the whole panel uh, to the white card base you can add the fun foam behind that or foam tape to raise it uh, i just decide not to now i'm using here morning do drew <laughs> morning dew drops by neo and uh, I, they will dry uh, really like a dew drops so now for the next one this panel is looking really vibrant so if i put volume volume paper on it 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 kind of little bit subtle but at the same time i have that nice um, you know background for the card 
now again i'm choosing the white color card base and i'll put the whole things um on that and uh, sometimes white really pops everything so i really like to add them then i add a little bit of sequins and um, i don't want to show it or not but i'll put the glossy accent on all those anchors of this card so they kind of uh, mean the focal point of there and kind of looking very 3d uh, effect that and then for more embellishment i am putting little dots of yellow color there now this pigmenting came in the kit this is really nice and juicy and now here you can see that how i mess up that card by adding little bit black on that but um, this is really nice and juicy and you can see that how easily i create that simple card base by just adding little bit of blinks there and uh, yeah it's gonna look nice you can add more colors in this technique I used this quite a while ago. I don't know. I upload that video, but yeah, I also do this with the Simmons's Forever Love um, kit, and you can see that there I use the lots of colors uh, by these techniques. So now I'm adding a glossy accent, and I'll wait for all the things gonna dry. So I keep that aside, and I'll put some on that uh, sentiment also the hope one because it's a little bit bigger, and then uh, for this next. Um, card thing i just use the salmon stitch rectangle and use only three size of tight circles sorry not rectangle it's a circle and it's by i think six yeah so first of all salmon stitch rectangle then six circles and i'm just uh, adding evergreen wall color to them again cutting out the same size panel to stick my first panel on that i'm using here liquid glue because it gave me a little bit room to move and uh, then i can stick everything together then i'm just adding more color i just want to enhance those circles still i want them to be part of that um, card i don't want to be them they're just going out i just want to add little more color like uh, they are differentiating but same time they need a part of the card so after that i just add uh, foam dots behind them you can use anything for that just to raise the things and i'm kind of uh, mixing and matching the thing like a puzzle piece i'm putting all things together so you can shimmer it or uh, i don't mm, have to shimmer i don't li like on this card so i just put that i'm using some green sequins from the kit and uh, just add glossy accent to put them together and um, yeah it's in this way you can get a really nice effect um i did this technique before lots of times and last time what i remember is yeah it's the laziest card kit i did this with the pattern paper so these are some cards some simple and easy techniques to do i hope you like this project in this series i have more projects with this card kit and more techniques with the mermaid stamp and the jellyfish stamp by lawn fawn so I just really suggest you to go ahead and watch all those videos if you want to watch unboxing is also there. And soon I will come with the hero arts kit and um, after this video I will show you how to use pattern papers. So I hope you are liking this series and kind of uh, making some cards with it. So uh, you can follow me on my social media and until the next crafty project have a crafty life. Bye bye.